They're laying the groundwork to protect the Pocono area stream from degradation. A team from the Stroud Water Research Center, along with local groups, are installing sensors on the Taconic Creek in Monroe County. Two types of sensors will be placed in the water. This sensor, which is a sensor by Meter Group, measures three of those parameters, water depth, temperature, and conductivity. And the second sensor, which is a Campbell Scientific sensor, is measuring turbidity. Several key factors determine the placement, depth, and location near the stream bank. It's an optical backscatter sensor, so it is sending a light about a foot out into the water column and measuring what particles are reflected back to the sensor. So if anything is in that way of the field of vision, it'll foul your turbidity readings. Attach the PVC pipe hose clamp together, and then this slides directly on. The data is stored in a nearby station, but is also available online. This data logger records data every five minutes and using cellular telemetry will send those data to an online portal called Monitor My Watershed. So every five minutes it's taking multiple different parameters and sending them to an online portal for anyone to access. Two of the monitoring stations are being placed on the Taconic and a third on a tributary called Kuiper Run. Local watershed groups are installing the monitors in order to collect data. The Taconic is a 19-mile stream and is listed as an exceptional value waterway by the Pennsylvania DEP. The designation prevents any degradation of water quality in the stream. So in order to be able to kind of let any potential developer know what he's got to live up to, it's important to have a good sense of what the water chemistry is before they can consider developing. So we're in the process of setting up a system to document the baseline conditions so that we can detect any potential impacts and make sure that they're taken care of appropriately. The residents say they are concerned about the effects of a 950,000 square foot warehouse project that would be built nearby. And the first thing that would happen is it would clear cut that area and then you're talking about a bunch of impervious surfaces that get sun beaten down on it and you know it'll heat up the, the storm water and the concern, the biggest concern is thermal impact. The project is in the early phases and still requires a number of state water quality permits. At some point they're going to have to get a permit for their wastewater and stormwater discharges. And that is where this data will come in most valuable. So we have, fortunately, a little bit of time to develop this baseline and know where things stand before they go to the permit process. These data loggers cost about $100 a piece compared to $1,000 for a commercial device that benefits groups working to protect streams. The cost of a setup like this versus a setup that meter group would sell you itself is expanding which groups can use these technologies and also install more of the sensor stations on a lower budget. So compared to something like the USGS monitoring stations, it's just a fraction of the cost. It is very, very difficult once you've degraded something to restore it. So we feel it's very important to make sure before you allow something that may degrade something to be sure that it's, it's not going to be irreparable harm.